in some of my off time, I've been reading some books in the uh, local community college, and I stumbled upon a book called Astronomy, written by Fred Hoyle. And in it was overviewed the idea of stars being thermonuclear reactors. Now, I made a lot of notes, as you can see here, and here, and here, and here. So I'm just going to go over a few bits of these notes as the time progresses and I can hone the notes. But for this talk, the main root assumption in solar astronomy I pointed out was the idea that stars are internally powered because they're radiating. That was always the assumption. But what's problematic about it is that you can get rid of the fusion model just by using Occam's razor. So you have many explanations or you have one simple one. Now the many explanations for the fusion reactor version of events is that the radiation is coming from the surface of the sun and there's a second sun inside the sun which also produces radiation. So you have a central nuclear burning core which radiates outwards and then you have the surface which radiates outwards so you have a double sun that's unnecessary and has an ad hoc assumption in there an Occam's razor for that would just to state be to state that the radiation is coming from where we see from what we observe it coming from which is the surface meaning the interior doesn't possess a nuclear burning core. That was the assumption. And uh, I wanted to do that on a library uh, whiteboard, but apparently the library is closed today, so I guess I'll go ahead and make a uh, discussion on that when I hone these ideas a little bit more. But I just wanted to get that up for today because the sun's heat is like a person wearing its heart on, on, on their sleeve. The heat is on the outside of the sun. That's what's radiating away. There isn't a second sun inside the sun needed. It was never needed. And that all goes back to people trying to figure out how the sun was powered because it wasn't powered with combustion. Obviously, if it was a coal fire, Fred Hoyle said it would only burn for about a thousand years. And if it was H plus O chemical combustion, which is a, one of the most powerful chemical reactions, the sun will only last for 2,000 years. And it's really strange because in the book on thermonuclear stars, there's no mention made of plasma recombination. There's no mention made of rates of plasma recombination. And there's no mention made of supercritical matter, which is a state of matter which is highly pressurized and in between solids, you know, in between liquids and gases. So, yeah, there's that. And basically, when you don't include all physical interpretations that are in the modern world, then you're doing yourself a disservice. And I'm sure that Mr. Hoyle wasn't aware of plasma recombination on large scales, which is why suns radi or stars radiate when they're young. But anyways, I'll talk about more of that later in a whiteboard presentation so people can visualize what I'm saying instead of me just using my hands. Alright, today is July 3rd, 2015.